Hi everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new here to Dragonfly Bees Resell Journey, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. This video is my year-end clearance sale, bringing back all these pieces that were shown in previous videos and offering them to you at discounted, further discounted prices. So let's begin. We're going to start off with pendant necklaces, and each one of these are sterling silver. Um, if you watched my Mrs. Maisel set dressing warehouse sale, I also got this little stand uh, from there, and this was basically for hats. But I said, well, this is a cute little display, and I, it could hold the jewelry up close, so I said, why not? So I picked that up. And then I got a whole bunch of these velvet boxes. So I guess I can ship them in these beautiful velvet boxes that have a little snap and they hold the, um, the necklace in place. So let's start off with what's on top. And the first one I have is this beautiful pendant. You may have seen that before. Oh, I think it's a little bit too close. Here, oh, cat fur. Here we have this beautiful opal, and um, I'm sure it's man-made. Really sweet rope design. It is marked on the back, 925. Now, like I said, all these pieces have been shown before, and uh, everything's been tested. It is on a very nice, delicate box chain. And the length of the drop is nine inches approximately. So this is an 18 inch chain with this beautiful pendant. Now, this also came with matching earrings. So the earrings are also the same size as the pendant also marked 925 on the back. They're hook earrings, they are sterling. When I looked at them, I noticed that one of these hooks are a little wonky. The one on the right. So we have this set to open up the urine clearance sale. Next in line is this pendant, beautiful. Rainbow Moonstone Cabochon. I do like this design all around. It is on a very delicate sterling silver chain with a spring ring. There is the back, open back. Now let's place that aside and measure the drop on this chain. Really sweet. I like this one. This one also has a nine inch drop. So this is an 18 inch sterling silver chain with this beautiful pendant. There you can see the flash. So we have this one. The next pendant is a, let's see. This is a rose cut Cornelian, sterling silver, nice size bale. It is marked 925, open back. It is on a box chain with a elongated lobster claw. So let's move that aside and measure the drop on this chain. Such a pretty color. In fact, there's a ring that matches that tone. This is about a nine inch um, drop as well, making this one also in the 18 inch chain. And here is the pendant. And I do have a ring that's similar in color, but it is a cabochon. And it's not 
it's not rose cut, but the colors match perfectly. So I'll show this one um, right after. So we have this one. Nowhere. This is brand new. So pretty. So here's the ring. This is also new. This is a size eight. The band is kind of curved. It looks to be slightly hammered. Beautiful bezel set cornelian cabochon. So we have this ring. Next up, we have this. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a chakra gemstone pendant from the bell to the end. It's a little over two and a half inches long. This is new. This is gorgeous. And look at that shine. It is open back. It is on a very delicate sterling silver chain with a spring ring. And the drop on this one, let's see. So far we've been getting 18 inch necklaces. Let's see what this one is. This one is also 18 inches. So we have this beauty. This next set is simply stunning. This is faceted crystal. It has marcasites. It is sterling. The necklace has this beautiful chain with the tiny little beads. Uh, I guess satellites. There is a lobster claw closure. <clears throat> the bail is very thick and it's marked 925 tie. The pendant does have tarnish. As you can see, the color's slightly darker than the earrings. <clears throat> the earrings are a miniature version of the pendant. Also with the marcasites, everything is intact. The earring backs are original and they are marked S925. So let me take this off the stand. Show it to you up close. It is, um, it's thick. And there you can see the sides. It does need a good polish. There's the back, open back. There you can see it's marked 925 tie. Here's the chain. And let's see how long the drop is on this. Let me make some room. And this one measures in at, you guessed it, nine inches in drop, making this a 18 inch necklace. And there's the pendant. Really beautiful. Very well made. That crystal is faceted. I don't see, hmm, let me get a magnifier. Just brilliant. And there you can see the, the, um, the marcasites. Oops. So let me show you the matching earrings now. We have that. I'll bring these forward. Um, there's the post, <clears throat> the back. Here are the earrings. Super, super sweet. There are the marcasites. Let's show the back of these. Oops, sorry about that. Here you can see it is marked. 
because it's a S925 tie. So we have this beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, next up, we have these beautiful earrings with the moonstone cabs. Look at that shine. These are sterling. They do need a really good clean. Uh, they measure in at, I would say, hmm, maybe an inch and a half long. Um, no, maybe an inch and three quarters. They're marked in the back. 925. Oops, come back to that one later. So we have these earrings. Is it too close? Let me see. Let's just focus on earrings first. Really beautiful. I love, love, love. Look at that. Look at that flash. Um, very nice hook earrings in sterling. This ring is marked on the back. It says India NB for Nikki Butler 925. There's the back. It's made up of these three bands and you have these three beautiful bezeled look at that <sighs> moonstones now gotta measure it let's see what this comes out to this is actually a catch and release this falls down to I would say a nine and a half Beautiful, beautiful Nikki Butler. And if you don't know the brand, look it up. She makes beautiful jewelry. And this is just one of her many styles. Next up, we have this um, Marcosite drop earring. This, this looks to be like a hematite tone faux pearl on the bottom these are sterling they are marked on the back 925a right there and they have the larger backings that look like um like a flower really beautiful so elegant we have this pair and i would say they measure in at about oh an inch and three quarters um, in length. So we have this and all the marcasites look to be present. Here's another pair of marcasite drop earrings. These have a more of a um, art deco style to them. When I bought them, um, they were sold to me, but it was missing uh, one back so i will see if i have a sterling um backing for it but if not i will add um two matching ones and there as you can see it is signed what does it say it says 925th i believe tie and all the marker sites look to be look to be present. So that's a good thing. We have this pair. The next pair of earrings, Sterling gives me a Southwest vibe. Um, I believe these are Onyx. They are open back. Look how high that bezel is. It almost it even wraps over the top of the, the stones. You have that rope design on the back. You have the beads on top and in between. You have a very long ear wire. These are so nice. Um, so we have, they're hard to hold. <laughs> a 
we have this pair. The next pair, these are brand new. They're hook earrings with beautiful marquee shaped labradorite. Look how sweet they are. Mark 925 in the back. There's a little window so that way the stone can, the light can come through the stone to give it that beautiful, come on, don't be shy, that beautiful shimmer. So we have this. Here, look at this one. Uh, rope design, bezeled set. I believe these are onyx. They are marked 925 on the back. I guess you can wear them like so. So classic, very pretty. Next pair of drop earrings have this sweet bezel set rainbow moonstone cab. You have this open work design and they're hook earrings. This hook seems a little misshaped. That one is not so nice. And look at that, look at that shine. Let's see, they are open back too. Yeah, there's the back side. So we have this very, very sweet pair. Last pair of earrings are these. They look to be a um, rose quartz cab, bezel set with that rope design, a lot of bead, work going on the back there's a little window and it is marked 925 they are on these ear wires hook ear hook earrings uh they do have tarnish lots of patina so these need to be cleaned up a bit or for those who like patina leave them be so we have this pair. Okay, now we'll go over the rings. So let's start with this one. This is an amber ring. It is marked on the back of the band. This is a six and three quarters and beautiful design. We have that. Next up is this one leaf design on the side you have this uh cornelian in the center this is a size six we have that one this one here is a beautiful amber cabochon with a open band uh this one is a size seven and three quarters. Next one, this is a sweet, very sweet ring. I like the design. This is also, I believe, a cornelian. And this one is a size eight. So yeah, that's what it would look like. This next one, hmm, it's marked on the back. I can't really make that out. S S T. Maybe that does say sterling. I know this is sterling. And the bottom, I mean, because of the band covering the letter, it could say Mexico, but I'm not sure. Um, and this is, let me get the mandrel out. This is a size seven and a half bezeled tiger's eye with the rope design. Next up, yep, you know what this is. This is so pretty. Size seven, simple band, sterling, open back, labradorite. 
Oh, the ring light is, is getting in my way. Trying to show you the flash in that. Next ring is a size seven. It is also a Labradorite. This one has a very nice design on either side with the beautiful oval bezeled cab. Size seven. Next one is a size eight, another Labradorite. Look at this one. It almost looks like a crown. It's open work on either side. You have that raised setting and that beautiful, beautiful labradorite stone. What did I say? Size eight. Here's another size eight. It is a wider band, lots of silver, hammered, bezeled amethyst. Even the bezel has that hammered look to it. Um, this looks like it needs a good polish. Yeah. Oh my. I did use a pad here. It is this a little tiny window there in the back. And yeah, I said it was an eight. It could be an eight and a quarter. You know that now that I look at it. So we have this one, very deep purple. The next one is seven and three quarters. You have this simple band with this large bezel amethyst cabochon that's a pretty purple seven and three quarters this next ring falls under the seven mark very slightly i don't think it's reaching the seven and a quarter so i'm gonna say that this is a size seven Rainbow Moonstone, Three Stone, Open Work, Filigree. You have the pear shapes on top and bottom with the round one in the center. This is so pretty. So we have this one. This next ring is vintage. It is only a size four, so that may fit some pinkies um, out there. <laughs> It is vintage because it is marked S-T-E-R, maybe S-T-E-R-L, let me see. Yeah, S-T-E-R-L on the back, size four, and it's this beautiful, look at that, mother of pearl, with the beads and the leaf design on either side of it. This is like a navette shaped and the bezel is uh it's quite high so we have this beautiful size four next up this is a size nine this is a brand new ring uh hmm yeah it should be <laughs> what's that mark there i guess you can polish that out it's a size nine and look <gasps> these are different tones of tourmaline beautiful cabs form this design it's gorgeous pink and greens size nine next ring is i would say eight and a quarter I think this is turquoise. Look at that high setting with the design. Wow. 
You know what I could do is um, there was a vid a ring video that was posted um, not too long ago. I will include that link in the description box because that would revisit these rings and uh, give you uh, more info on what I had said about them initially. But this is so nice. And this is a size, I would say eight and a quarter. Next one, I would say is seven and three quarters. Very high bezel set. Oval cab. Now, what could this be? Hmm. I'm not too sure. It's green with some bands going through it. I love that rope design right there. And then you have this like a scalloped design around it. So we have this ring. Next up, this one is tiny, five and a half. Is it? Yeah, five and a half. This has some tarnish. Yeah, all around that bezel. This is a beautiful turquoise. That shape is like a like a chubby pear. <laughs> it's not actually a circle. It does look like a, like a three-sided stone. So we have that. The next one I would say is a seven and a half. This is, I think this is a, a vintage Native American ring. Uh, it is marked 925 stir on the inside. Great design. You have three bands on either side of the ring and then it forms one single band on the back. And then you have this beautiful, look at that. Oh, I can't think of that word. Oh. Oh, that bezel with the with the teeth. Oh, but I think you know what I'm referring to, and that is a beautiful turquoise size seven and a half. Next ring I would say is a six and three quarters. Um, I'm more of a seven and something I had purchased but it doesn't fit me it is a beautiful mother of pearl saw cut is that the word I was thinking of isn't that pretty six and three quarters Okay, last ring to wrap up this sale is size seven and a quarter. There's the setting. There's that beautiful little cabochon, which I feel is um, turquoise. You have that bezel set top right there. That's what it looks like on the inside. It, it is old. It is marked 925 as well. And what did I say? Seven and a quarter. So we have that. Well, that's a wrap everyone on this year end clearance sale. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up, comment below, Tell me what you thought. Email me if you would like to purchase anything at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are at the end of the video as well as below in the description box. I will also create a sold list in the comment section. If anything sells, it will, it will be pinned. So that way it will always be the first comment that appears. Subscribe if you haven't already it's free and ring that bell choose all notifications to be alerted when i post new content so 
With that said, I wish you all a safe, healthy, and prosperous new year ahead, filled with happiness and love, and I will see you in 2023. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye now. Mm -hmm.